In this tutorial for new and intermediate Blender users, I'll show you some important editing tidbits uh, that might help you get control of your models a little bit. These threw me off when I first got started using Blender. So I have a couple of icospheres in the scene right now, but I'll just, I don't know, I'll get rid of these for the moment. And let's see what else. And I'll start with something simple. I'll move the cursor to the center, Shift S, like this. I'll add a cube to the scene, like this. I better give it a color. Let me see, there should be a color in here. There's one of those other colors right there. All right. So uh, when I'm in here, the notice the dot. This dot, it just really drives you crazy. Right here. See that little dot right in the very center? So it's showing me the center of the object. No matter where I look. In fact, if I look at it from side view or front view, go to ortho view like that, you can see it's there. Or look at it from above. It's right in the very center. All right, I'm out of ortho now. And then... Um, but if you can, there's a couple ways to move this dot around so or it gets moved around on you. So for instance, let's say I go into edit mode on this object and I click face select and I click this face and I just move it out to the side like this, right? I just, I just want to make it longer. Maybe I'm making some kind of object of some sort and then I tab out of that back into object mode. Well, the dot stays where it was. So the center is still there. So that's can be good if that's what you're looking for. However, if you notice, if I'm up looking at it from above, and now I go to rotate the object on the Z axis with RZ, and I rotate, it's rotating around that original origin center like that. All right, so that may, ne may not be what you want. So, uh, and believe me, that threw me off many times when I was getting started. I just couldn't figure it out. For some reason, something's eluded me. And in this case, you can actually, a couple things you could do, I'll just look at it from the side in ortho mode. I could go in here and I can just go back into edit mode and I can press A to select all the vertices. And then I can press, This is since this is on the Y axis like this, let me zoom out a little bit, I can press GY and then move the whole thing over into the center like this and then I'm approximating it, it like this, or all right, I'll, I'll move it back, or I can move it out to this end point, because maybe I want to rotate or scale around that point as well. And so that's one way of working it, all right. Or the other way is you're in here, you can just go into object mode, get out of perspective, get out of ortho mode, uh, go into object on the menu, and then this transform, and transform the geometry to the origin, and there it does it automatically for you. All right, so it's back in the center. So when we rotate it, well, let's actually just, we'll move everything to the center. Let's shift S, cursor to the center, shift S, selection to the cursor. So now I know the object's on the center and I'm looking at it from above in ortho mode and I'll just rotate on Z. And so it's rotating around the center like that, okay? Well, sometimes you do want your this point to be placed anywhere within your object and that's how you, that's the way you do it. All right, now there's something else you can do when you add an object to a scene. So have this rectangular cube looking shape and let's say there's I want to add something over here and I push, press shift A and maybe I'm going to add a cone to the scene. I'll scale him up a little bit. Whoops. I'm going to scale him like this. Well he's not part of that object. He's a separate object. And even if it was right next to it, it's still a separate object. You know, he's, he's named cone, he's named cube. But sometimes I want it to be part of the object as I do it. All right, so I'll move my point there. And then let me get rid of it. I'll de delete that. I'll click this. I'll go into edit mode. And while I'm in edit mode like this, and my cursor is at this point, then if I press Shift A, notice only part of that menu comes up. You don't have all those other options in there. So if I add a cone here like this, I'll scale it up while I'm in here. Well, notice what's happening. It's scaling it based upon that center point of this object. So it tells me it's already, it tells me it's part of this object. In fact, if you see the name here is cube, and if I click there, that's still cube. And now when I'm clicking, I'm just clicking up individual faces since I'm in face select. If I press A, you can see they all 
are part of the same thing. So it, it basically joins it together as a single entity. And then when I tab out, if I look at it from above, if I rotate on Z, you can see it just does it like this. And well, that's caught me off guard a few times too, because there were times I may have accidentally been in edit mode, just added it in there, it became part of the object. You know, they, these little things can really throw you off. So that's just a couple of tidbits to kind of help you model and edit your scenes so you don't spend uh, hours and hours kind of wondering, oh, what the heck did that do wrong? All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.